Hello, this is Josh Patel, and today I'm bringing you another biology lesson. Today, we will be doing Chapter 3, The Cell Structure and Function, Lesson 3, The Cell Membrane. So, our key concept for today is, the cell membrane is a barrier that separates a cell from the external environment, but it also helps keep the cell's shape, choose what comes in and out of the cell, and it protects the cell from the external environment. So, the cell membrane are composed of two phospholipids. So, the cell, the cell membrane has two major functions, which is forms a boundary between the inside and the outside of the cell and controls passage of materials. So, it's composed of a two phospholipid layer. So, each one of these circles with the little tail hanging down from it is a phospholipid. So there's two of them, one on each side, so it's called a phospholipid bilayer. Bi is two. So we also learned about phospholipids in a previous chapter, which was carbon-based molecules. And we know they're a type of fat. So they create this layer, which is the cell membrane, and it chooses what comes in and out of the cell. It, it's called semi-permeable, and it chooses what enters and what leaves. So the polar heads are on the outside and the nonpolar tails are on the inside. So we need to know that. So the cell membrane is composed of a two phospholipid layer. The cell membrane is made of a phospholipid bilayer. That's what I said earlier. Bi is two layer. There are other molecules also embedded in the membrane in different areas. So the protein is right here. There's a protein channel which allows proteins to come in and out of the cell. There's cholesterol just hanging around. There's carbohydrate chains. And there's a protein right there. So there's a variety of stuff in here just scattered through. It's not in specific areas of the membrane itself. So the fluid mosaic model describes the membrane. They got the mosaic model from... If you look at this from a bird's eye view, all the little circles look like mosaic tiles, and that's how they came up with the name mosaic model. And it's fluid because it lets things in and out, and it's like in a fluid motion. It's not just flat. So the cell membrane is selectively permeable, which means it chooses which molecules can cross and which ones don't. So some molecules can cross the membrane while other molecules can't. So like let some water droplets come through, but others not. So like that one, it just sent through. So chemical signals are transmitted across the cell membrane. So receptors bind with ligands and change shape. There are two types of receptors, intercellular and outside. So this is a ligand and it's a chemical message that crosses through and binds to receptor in, in the inside. We don't have to know this really, just know that the cell, the cell membrane is selectively permeable. We don't need to know all about ligands. So and then there's membrane receptors, which are in the membrane, obviously. So that's the end of our video. And the things that you should have grasped from this video are that the cell membrane is the border on the outside of the cell that protects it, keeps it in a stable shape and it chooses what comes in and out which is called selectively permeable which we need to know that vocab and also know that the cell membrane is made of two phospholipid layers with the polar heads on the outside and the nonpolar tails on the inside so those are the main ideas of this lesson so hopefully you enjoy this video and learned a lot and if you missed something make sure you go back and review it in the book or on this video again and thanks for watching and our next video will be on chapter 3 the cell structure and function lesson 4 osmosis and diffusion